Wrightsville Beach, you know, I was just joking about Wrightsville Beach here, my favorite coastal destination, but it's so hot outside. I can't even enjoy looking at the water. Yeah. Well, it's cooler there, relatively speaking, cooler than it is here. In fact, we've got highs in the mid-90s. They've got highs in the upper 80s to lower 90s today. So a little bit of a different air mass in place for us here. Uh, not the normal expectation. That's why we've got that heat advisory in effect for us here throughout the day today. The uh, county shaded in orange. Uh, pretty much most everybody here today. Uh, you can see, you can expect heat index values upwards of 105 to 109 degrees. Look at those markers across the region. So that's what the temperature feels like with the humidity factored in. The actual current temperatures right now are lower than that, of course. We're going to top out in the mid-90s across most of the region. Durham's currently at 89. Raleigh, we're at 92. Fayetteville is checking in. Uh, this afternoon at 90 degrees. Just look at the tower cam back downtown right now. It just looks hot, doesn't it? Well, it's going to feel that way all day today. We were just talking about that. You want to drink some water, take plenty of breaks inside, and then, of course, your pets rely on you. Make sure they've got access to cool water. Throw some ice cubes in the bucket if they get their water outside for you here today. All right, this is what one of the high-resolution forecast models looks like. In fact, this is the latest high-resolution forecast model just in. I wanted to show you what we expect here this afternoon. Again, through the early afternoon hours, not much. Just a few areas of cloud cover. Uh, most of that is upper level clouds, so it's serious level clouds, not really impacting much of anything. But by about 3.30 or 4, we could see an isolated thunderstorm or two develop across the region. The radar is not going to look just like this, but the timing is appropriate. It's what we expect for us here uh, across the region this afternoon to see those showers and storms firing around the 330 mark. Those will press eastward. Then we'll turn our attention to the west. That's where a line of showers and thunderstorms will press eastward into our region, weakening as they move into the area according to that model. But the potential is there for some strong to severe thunderstorms for sure. A level two out of five risk for us here across the region today. Primary threats will be for damaging winds and uh, large hail possible as well. Again, the most likely storms will begin to develop after about 3 o'clock, but the most likely time frame for severe weather in the triangle will be between 6 and 9 p.m. here this evening. Primary threats limited to damaging wind gusts and large hail. People always ask about the tornado potential. It's very low overall with this setup, but of course we'll keep that monitored and we'll keep you advised. For the next few days here today, we expect to see those showers and storms once again tomorrow. We're in a level one out of five risk for severe weather tomorrow. It's a little bit lower uh, threshold, but we'll still keep an eye on that for you. Then Wednesday, the rain chances actually go up to about 60% across the region. Temperatures drop down to about 93 degrees. Then look in on the weekend. Still got rain chances hanging around out there, but temperatures returning back to near normal values in the upper 80s to lower 90s. So we can on into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Bill, not too bad for us out here uh, once we get into the weekend, but we got to get through the next couple of days just to be sure there.